Hello guys, welcome to Macout Smashers. Today we discuss about the another chapter 4 in industrial management. The name of the chapter is Production Planning and Control, PPC. So in this chapter, we discuss the agenda topic. So at first we discuss about the introduction of production planning and control. And next type and examples of production, production management objectives, on what is the difference between production and operational management, production and productivity, scheduling is the most important concept in this chapter, the cancer and critical ratio scheduling and bottleneck, this meaning effect and ways to reduce. Okay, so let's start. Okay, so the production planning and control is a fundamental aspect of manufacturing management that encompasses the coordination of resources, processes and activities to optimize the production efficiency and meet the organizational objectives. It involves forecasting demand, scheduling operation and ensuring the timely availability of materials and resources need for production. PPC serves as a bridge between the strategic planning and day-to-day -day production activities, aligning the production goals with overall business objectives. Through the PPC, Companies can minimize the wastage, reduce the production cost, and improve the delivery times by synchronizing production schedules with customer demand. Ultimately, PPT facilitates the systematic applications or executions of production plans, enabling the companies to maintain the competitiveness and adapt to market changes and achieve the operational excellence. So, on the basis of types of production management system, we can divide these in two parts. One is continuous production management and another is intermittent production management. In continuous production management, there is two types, mass production and process production. In intermittent production management, there is two types like job production and batch production. So we discuss the each production topics in details. So in next part, we we'll discuss at first, we should discuss the job production. So at first, the job production. Job production. Uh, cornerstone of industrial management entails the customization and fabrication of products to meet the specific customer requirements. Unlike the mass production methods, job production focuses on creating the unique items tailored to individual customers needed, often involving skilled craftsmanship and attention to detail. In job production, each product is treated as a distinct project with production processes adjusted to accommodate customization flexibility. This approach is prevent in industrial such as bespoke furniture, specialized machinery and artisanal goods. While the personalization and quality quality is paramount. While job production may result in higher unit cost and longer lead times, it offers unparalleled customization and fosters strong customer relationship by meeting unique demands efficiently. So now it is time to discuss about the batch production. Batch production is a widely utilized method in industrial management characterized by the manufacture of goods in distinct groups or batches. Unlike mass production, batch production involves producing a limited quantity of items often with similar characteristics or speculations before switching to a different product or configuration. This approach allows manufacturers to capitalize on economics of scale with each batch while retaining some flexibility to accommodate variations in demand and product specification. Batch production is commonly found in industries such as pharmaceuticals, food processing and textiles, where products may require specific processing or customization. By organizing production into manageable batches, companies can optimize resources, manage a set of times, maintain quality control and standards and across products or production runs. Okay, so much pro mass production. It is a Constone of industrial management, representing, representing the streamlined and efficient production of large quantities of standardized goods. This method involves the assembly line or continuous flow processes, while products move through various stages of production with high levels of automation and division of labor. Mass production techniques allow for economical scale, enabling manufacturer to produce goods at lower unit cost and high volume. Industries such as automotive, electronics and consumer goods heavily rely on mass production to meet high demand levels and maintain the competitiveness in the market. While mass production emphasizes unfortunately and efficiency, it may also pose challenges in terms of flexibility and customization compared to other production methods like job production. 
So now it is time to discuss about the objective of project management is to effectively plan, execute and control projects to achieve the specific goals within the constraints such as time, cost, quality and scope. By employing project management methodologies and tools, organizations aim to optimize the resource utilization, mitigate tardics and ensure the successful project outcomes. Project management facilitates clear communication and collaboration among team members, stakeholders and project sponsors, fostering the alignment and commitment to project objectives. It enables the identification and allocation of tasks, milestones and responsibilities, ensuring that projects progress smoothly and remain on track towards the completion. Ultimately, the overreaching goal of project management is to deliver the value to stakeholders by delivering project on time, within budget, and in accordance with predetermined quality standards. Also here you can see the differences between production management and operation management. It is a very important question for examination point of view. Okay, so next topic. So now it is time to discuss about the scheduling in production management and control. It is a critical process that involves organizing and coordinating various production activities to optimize the resource utilization and meet the production target efficiently. It encompasses the allocation of tasks, resources and time frames to ensure that production processes flow smoothly and adhere to predetermined schedules. Effective scheduling in PPC helps to minimize the ideal time, reduce the production lead time and improve the overall productivity by optimizing the sequence of tasks and resources. By implementing the scheduling techniques such as Gantt chart, critical path method and just-in-time scheduling, organization can achieve better visibility into their production timelines and make informed decisions to enhance the operational efficiency. Furthermore, scheduling in PPC allows for the identification and mitigation of potential bottlenecks or constraints that may impede the production process, enabling the proactive measures to maintain the workflow continuity and meet the customer demand effectively. Okay. So Gantt chart in production map planning and control the PPC, a Gantt chart is a visual representation of project schedule task and their respective timelines. It provides a clear and comprehensive overview of the production processes, allowing managers to plan, coordinate and track the progresses effectively. Gantt charts display tasks as horizontal <coughs> bars along a timeline with the lengths representing the duration of each task. By visualizing tasks, dependencies and overlaps, Gantt chart helps to optimize the resource allocation and minimize the ideal time in production operations. Additionally, they enable managers to identify the critical paths and prioritize tasks to ensure the timely project completion. Overall, Gantt chart serves as invaluable tools in PPC for enhancing the communication, decision making and productivity across the various stages of the production process. Okay, so another scheduling, a critical ratio scheduling. In PPC is a method used to prioritize tasks based on their urgency and importance. In relation to project deadlines, it calculates the critical ratio by dividing the time remaining until the deadline by time required to complete the end task. You can see the formula in this slide. Task with lower critical ratios are given higher priority for scheduling and execution, ensuring that the resources are allocated efficiently to meet the deadlines and minimize the project delays. Critical ratio scheduling helps to manage focus on completion of tasks that are most critical to the project's success allowing for better utilization of resources and improved overall project performance. By incorporating critical ratio scheduling into PPC strategies, organizations can enhance productivity, streamline workflows and achieve the timely project delivery, contributing to their success in competitive markets. Okay, so now it is time to discuss about the bottleneck. A bottleneck refers to a point in the production process where the flow of work is impended causing a short slowdown or constant in overall output means it is the uh, you can say the impeded okay it occurs when the capacity of a particular resource or processes is enough insufficient to handle the workload eff effectively leading to delays and influences in production identifying bottleneck is crucial in PPC as they can disrupt the entire production chain impacting the delivery schedules and customer satisfaction. PPC strategies aim to mitigate the bottlenecks by reallocating the resources, optimizing the workflows and investigating the additional capacity to ensure the smoother operation. By addressing bottlenecks proactively, organizations can improve the productive productivity, reduce the lead time and enhance the overall efficiency in production planning and 
control processes you can see here in this screen that how bottleneck costs like decrease efficiency production costs customer dissatisfaction financial losses and finish the project then increase the in production okay less revenue from sales okay this is the kind of bottlenecks you can imagine okay so that's it and uh, it is the end of this slide and in today's video we already discussed the production planning and control in this chapter we discussed the various topics so thanks for watching and like share and comment below if you have any query okay so we will uh, reply okay so thanks for watching uh, till now you can revise the all concept in the subject okay we will meet in next video in material management okay